Come on. See, this is why it would be Dump difficult if I was you. disabled. Right. Go back. Tilt. <laughs> Tilt. <laughs> so good. Did you get it? Becoming paralyzed is many people's worst nightmare, but to me, it's my reality. I'm Cruz, and today, I'm bringing you into my world. Let's hope you can get some perspective, and let's have a chat. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Paralyze This. My name is Cruz Bogle, and I am your host and wheelchair-bound quadriplegic of this episode. Here today with me, I have Cole and Charisma. Woo! Charisma. <laughs> Strap down, Charisma. Strap down. <laughs> so that is the, uh, the main mission of uh, this show is to kind of change somebody's perspective who may not know what it's like to be disabled or be a quadriplegic, um, you know, and be, uh, have to struggle with paralysis. Um, so we've got Charisma well strapped down mm -hmm. at her shins, her mm -hmm. knees, her arms, and her chest. Yeah, all of it. So you guys have a YouTube channel, and mm -hmm. I would say you are one of the hottest uh, interrated oh. YouTube couples. <laughs> the hottest? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Uh huh. It's so hot. Long. It's real hot. Oh, you put your spit on me. Oh, yeah. oh man. Too much spit. Burn. My bad. <laughs> well, hot. Oh. <laughs> it's sizzling. Uh, so, kind of tell me about your YouTube channel. How did it come to fruition? What is it about? And how's it going? It was Kurzweil's idea. Yeah, all my idea. idea. We were in the car one day, and I was like, "Hey, you want to start a YouTube channel?" And he was like, "Sure." Oh, yeah. Like, it was more like a. Yeah. He was sure. skeptical. It was the very beginning of our of our relationship, so he was like, I mean, he still is a yes man. He just kind of says yes to anything I, I, I like suggest. To please her. Yeah, uh -huh. he's a pleaser, which is great. Um, so uh, he he went along with it. Um, yeah, and so we just started recording our adventures, mm -hmm. editing, and mm -hmm. I found that I really enjoyed editing, and it was something that yeah. I was kind of good at, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. we kept going, and then all of a sudden we had a couple of videos that got popular. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people were watching them and they said they wanted to see more. So it kind of turned from a little side hobby that we were just like so so about to something that we're now doing like mm -hmm. full steam ahead. Yeah. And um, it's really cool seeing a lot of people take or find positivity in our videos. Yeah. Right. Um, so it's been it's amazing. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It seems like it. And that's, that's kind of what I latched on at first was like how you guys interacted with each other and mm -hmm. then brought in the viewers as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty sweet. I was, at, we were actually talking about it last night. We were wondering like, how did we even meet? I, I, I People forget. asked me that too and I really? can't remember if it was Instagram first. It was or, Instagram. Was it? I think it was Instagram. And I think it was on uh, my page. I don't think it was the World Cole page. Definitely started with Charisma. I think I DM'd you. Oh, hey? the World yeah. Cole? No, you're Cole uh, 2828. Really? Oh. I believe so. Because I never get on Instagram. So, like, so it must I have been me. Even... I probably checked it. Yeah. Oh, so you answered his probably. DM to me? Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Huh. But yeah, that was probably, what, I don't know, six months ago now? Mm -hmm. Five months mm -hmm. ago? So and here we are in Florida. Woo! Ooh, at maybe. the biggest event yeah. of the year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, how many uh, subscribers do you guys have? We just hit 126,000 subscribers. 126,000 mm -hmm. subscribers. It's still weird to say. It is weird. That's, it's really that's weird. That's a lot of people. And yeah. How long have you been doing it? Uh, it's been since last all May. May, May, May. I'm not, End of May. So we're almost to a year. Almost, almost to a year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's see if we can replicate it in 2019 a, yeah. the yeah. next year. Maybe it'll be 150 by May. That would be pretty sweet. That We're 25,000 away. May 1st is my birthday, so help me help yeah. us get there. Let's That'd go. Be a dope yeah. birthday kid. <laughs> go follow, go follow, subscribe, like, all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and what is your favorite part about creating this YouTube channel? Favorite part? It well, could be. I have an idea, but I want to hear Charisma's first. Okay. Well, I think I have two. Ooh. Um, so we got three. Let's go. Well,. I like being able to reach others and to be a source of I don't I don't want to say the word inspiration, but like be a source of knowledge for them yeah. um, on both sides because I have um, you know people who are in a relationship with a quadriplegic, paraplegic, or anyone with a disability who have questions right. and they're like, oh, how do you deal with this and blah blah blah. Um, so I like being that I enjoy being that source of education and knowledge for them and then like. Even like when they're upset and they need someone to vent to. Like I listen mm -hmm. and I'm there for them. and I really enjoy that. Because um, yeah. you can understand and, and yeah. sympathize with them. And, yeah. yeah. And then for Cole. It's kind of a two-way street for you too. Sometimes you meet someone and 
you, you get to vent to them a little bit too. Yeah, yeah. I use them too. Yeah. It, not in a bad way, but like. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> using everybody here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then also for like Cole and I's relationship, we, um, Cole and I's relationship, for our relationship, mm -hmm. um, we, it gives us a reason to get out and enjoy life and have fun, you know? It's just like, it forces us. <laughs> okay, you, you finish it then. <laughs> well, I was, I mean, to piggyback off that, I, like before I met Charisma, I was entering into this phase where I was like, you know what? I haven't really put myself out there. I haven't done fun stuff. I've kind of just, shelled up to, to had my college experience kind of as a lone wolf type you know just not really putting myself out there mm -hmm. and i was bored of it mm -hmm. you know I, was, I wanted i wanted to get some of that zest for life back and so i started saying yes to things right. and um and then i met charisma and that was fantastic and yeah. she said yes to this youtube channel and i was like well i'm trying to say yes to things now so yes let's do a youtube channel yeah and it's been awesome because i mean you can go through like all of our videos and just like the titles reading, oh, the first time we swam together, the first time we went on a fair ride together, the first time we did this together, mm -hmm. we did that together, that and that. And so, like, in this past year that we've had the YouTube channel, it's like I've done more exciting stuff than I did six years before that. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I think that's what's been the coolest part. And I think that's yeah. going to keep continuing. I mean, yeah. more and more awesome opportunities are coming down the pipe yeah. because of the YouTube channel. Like coming to Florida yeah, almost we'll, on a whim to hang out with some awesome people yeah. and go to an amazing event. Like how cool is that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. How are you going to get that, that, uh, opportunity if you're not, you know, exactly. If you didn't do this YouTube channel, Yeah. Mm -hmm. you guys are probably meeting an intense <laughs> amount of people. Yeah. Whether yeah. it's just, you know, connecting through the internet, how we first started or, mm -hmm. you know, people, local people as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been crazy. amazing. Mm -hmm. awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. well, briefly tell me a little bit about, uh, the trip down. How was it, you know, obviously being a quadriplegic, mm -hmm. you being uh, the main caregiver, mm -hmm. how was all the transferring from the plane on and yeah. off? Well, we, we definitely have two different perspectives. Yeah. Because I'm the one like that is in the middle of everything that's happening, but Charisma's the one running around making sure everything right. goes smoothly. Supervising. So it's something. two very different perspectives, right. but um, riding on a plane is not the easiest when you're in a wheelchair, especially when you're quadriplegic. Mm -hmm. The biggest hassle, I would say, comes with getting onto or getting to your seat. So you come down the jetway, everybody's familiar with the jetway, and typically you just walk on easy. Right. I can't do that because I'm in the chair, and the chair doesn't fit down the aisle on the plane. So we have to transfer me onto this tiny little aisle chair, mm -hmm. which is not no. like Pain in the ass. not <laughs> suited. And um, so you never know if you're gonna have good transfers. So luckily we had two good transfers. Yeah. Um, so they got me on the chair just fine. Mm -hmm. And then they have to like strap the chest down and then the waist down and my legs down. So, and I gotta put my arms across my chest. So by the end of it, I feel like an inmate getting put on this plane. Yeah. Padded walls and all. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. It's like protecting yeah. the rest of the, the flight members or whatever. So yeah, I just felt like an inmate and we got on, on the seat and it actually ended up going pretty well. Yeah, I mean, once we were there, it was fine. But I, another thing I found really interesting was um, the whole, what check, the security check-in, what do you call it? Um, going through security? Yeah, going through security. Uh -huh. And the amount of things they had to do for you. It's like, oh yeah, pat him down, swipe his stuff. chair, like literally pat down everyone. And I get it, he doesn't go through the little machine that we go through, but like, Still. Yeah, they literally mm -hmm. swab the chair and then put it in like to mm -hmm. see if there's a, a bomb on it. Or yeah. Whatever, right? Yeah. So yeah. Bomb Powder. residue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They. It's crazy. <laughs> I couldn't believe this when we were going through. Like I've I've been through the airport a few times. I took the just pat down everything. They're like, oh, I'm gonna use the back of my hands, and then they don't, and they're all up in my crotch. Right, right. Hey, do you want whatever. To feel, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I just closed my eyes and it's not even happening. But uh, <laughs> this time the guy was like, hey, wait here for a second. I need to go get something. And he came back with the wand, mm -hmm. you know, the metal wand. Yeah. And he starts waving it around the whole time. He's going, beep. Right, I'm like, chair, right? dude, I'm, I'm sitting in a metal chair. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, uh, this is a lot of metal. <laughs> like, no. What? This is just protocol, yeah. man. Protocol. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't have any bomb residue on me, so we were good. cleared. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so as far as like with the transferring to the aisle chair, how mm -hmm. was your perspective from on that? Um, I was a little anxious. Yeah. I, I think I'm just anxious whenever someone else tries to transfer yeah. Cole, who she she wants to be hands on. Who's not like his parents or someone who normally does it. Um, so 
I was just really anxious and like kind of telling, like kind of trying to be involved, but trying to let them do it because I know they're strong that they can handle it. Right. But at the same time, I'm trying to record. I know it's. I know I'm struggling. It's tough. I keep moving you my can't hands. Use your like, fingers. It's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my fingers. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a lot trying to record, trying to balance that, being yeah. there and just like not trying to like get involved and trying yeah. to do a thing. But I, I had to keep telling her in the midst of telling them how to train for me. It's like charisma, like. Record it. Right, 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 yeah. Right. We gotta get it on camera. Right. Yeah. Two but different aspects to it. Making sure it's, everything goes well. Then yeah. Making sure everything. And then I have like fifty out. bags on me too, so I'm like holding mm -hmm. everything. It's like. Charisma was a trooper. Oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah, we, we Charisma had a lot on her plate, and she really did well the whole yeah, time. Yeah. Well. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Nice. But there was one more thing that happened that I found hilarious when we were when we got to our destination. We got to Fort Lauderdale, yeah. and we were getting off the plane. They were like, so do you need a wheelchair? And I said, yeah, like I need my wheelchair. And they're like, oh, okay. And then they came back and they're like, all right, your wheelchair is going to be waiting for you at baggage claim. That's what they said? Yeah. yeah. And we're oh, like, man. Uh, no, it has to be here. Like, I, I can't move. <laughs> right. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we, can you bring it here? I was like, yeah. Like, we what had, do you expect? That I'm going to, Christmas going to carry me to baggage claim? And then right. I, I didn't, I don't or know what they walk, were thinking. I guess. Yeah, I'll just let me uh, perform a miracle real quick. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, no matter you know what kind of profession or person it is, if they have never had contact or um, you know a friend who's a quad, what's going on? Oh, I had to sneeze. Uh, it was there. Oh, sneezing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was... I saw your face like pause yeah. and look at her. Oh, my nose is just okay. Um, Here. Okay. <laughs> Did it work? No. Do you want your thing? No, 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 Use no. Straw. Is, no, it, like you know, you know how I scratch my nose. It's not gonna work. Tip of your nose is getting a little red. I know. Uh, yeah, okay. She, she does a violent scratch here. <laughs> it doesn't it's, work. I'm sorry. Okay. Never Back mind. That's what you're saying. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if, if you don't, you know, know somebody who's a quadriplegic or who's somebody who has a disability. <laughs> You really, you honestly don't know. Like, yeah. If I, I'll try to think back before I was a quadriplegic, like I had no idea what a disability was, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, especially when it requires like a hands on with transfers and stuff, yeah. It's kind of, it's a little bit scary to think, you know, they don't know what they're doing uh -huh. um, and they have your life in their hands essentially. So, there's a lot of trust. Yeah. yeah. A lot of trust. A lot of, you got to give strangers. a lot of direction. Got to be vocal about it for sure. Yeah. That's, that's the case too. And, it's always when I when I go out on my own and mom's not involved. It's a little bit different. What are you trying it's to in put the it way. down? Yeah, I got it. Let yeah, me no, do no, it. Don't enable. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, see, <laughs> I want to be the helper now. Yeah, I it's, which is strange. Yeah, yeah. but um, <laughs> going out with my mom, she's that mama bear, and so for a long time, uh, she was the one that was real vocal with people, telling them what they should and shouldn't be doing. Yeah, and then. Um, I started growing into it myself and be like, mom, like, I want to tell him, like, I, I need to be the one that says, right. Um, take control. Right. Right. Life. And so then I started dating charisma and charisma does it and said, I'm just kidding. Wait, I do, I do, it do what? <laughs> you, I was joking. That I you, zoned you, out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Those is too itchy. Those I know. I can't like focus. Cause I'm like, yeah. Put your fingers away. That's hard. Oh, That's right. weird. That's weird. I can't focus on the conversation because my nose is bothering me. That's you interesting, to, I know. Might we'll have to leave you in there a little longer than expected. <laughs> <laughs> can I take this home so as a punishment? No! Upsets yeah, me, yeah, we can yeah. strap her in. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually funny that when, I remember being in the ICU, one of the biggest things mm -hmm. was not being able to scratch my face. Oh yeah. And our, we had a system. Uh, someone brought in some bells mm -hmm. and they strapped it to my wrist because at the time all I could do was like, this with my wrist just enough to so ring i could just ring a little bell and then someone would come and they i would spell out itch on the spelling board right. remember the spelling board yeah. and uh they would say all right where is it is it here here and then i would blink when they'd get to the right spot and they'd scratch it oh my god that would happen like every 10 minutes so frustrating yeah i can imagine yeah that's my shoulder rough. itches can you scratch it where right here <laughs> can you scratch it <laughs> it's in the front <laughs> yeah, I think is that it? it's tough. I think nice. it's kind of where the strap is. So a little check in, how you how you feeling now? Whoa, whoa! My fingers are itching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting itchy. Are you you're talking about it? It looks like you're getting restless too. I yeah. am yeah, for sure. I'm. I, I I told Cole it's gonna be difficult because I talk with my hands. I'm a mm -hmm. hand talker. That's why I do this. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> you're the wing talker. Yeah, I'm the wing talker now. <laughs> so it's just hard. Uh, all right. So next question is for you, bud. For me. How did you become paralyzed? 
How long ago was it? And how do you continue to uh, kind of have a driving force moving forward and, you know, not give up and uh, just kind of keep a positive attitude mm -hmm. all together? Yeah, I've, so I've been in a chair now for almost eight years. Mm -hmm. I, I dove into a, the James River, which is a river that runs through the city of Richmond in 2011. Uh, it was like a summer day and I went with some of my friends and uh, I dove into the water and I hit a rock submerged just beneath the surface and immediately broke my neck and I have a scar running from here to here from the impact mm -hmm. and um, I couldn't move any of my limbs and uh, before I was swept into the next set of rapids one of my friends jumped in um, pulled me over to the, the shore and saved me and the paramedics came and so uh, I did not die actually I'm, yeah, I'm still here oh, yeah, believe man. it or not <laughs> and so it, it was rough at first before like once I was working into the new normal that was really the key because once I got to the new normal and realized all right this is something I can handle right. uh, then I, I was able to start remolding the positive aspect of my life because before then it was all just like utilitarian just like all right I need to figure out how I'm gonna put my shirt on I need to figure out how I'm gonna brush my teeth I need to figure out how I'm gonna feed myself right. and so that that when your mind is just on f figuring things out it's not so at least for me it's not about like i'm super depressed right now but then once you figure everything out then all you can do is think right everything and kind of settles yeah you realize oh shoot this is going to be it for a long time right and that's when you when i had to start figuring out all right how am i going to live this life and still be happy and so it, i think it's something that was instilled with me and with my parents but it was, um, you know, you just gotta get out there and do what you want to do. And no matter what your situation is, you gotta do it. Right. You can't just like hole up in your house and be lazy. Right. So I just got out there, started doing things, and then, then the life became happy around me. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think yeah. That was well said. Um, I, what I've taken from uh, Gary Vee, I'm sure you guys are familiar with him, mm -hmm. is just not to complain. Like, mm -hmm. whatever your situation is, don't like, don't settle, like, if this line in the wall right here is your baseline mm -hmm. of life, if something happens to you and knocks you down, that's your new baseline, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't complain, just do what you have to do, mm -hmm. work hard, stay positive, and, you know, bring your baseline back up. Yeah, you know? I like that. I like that too. Yeah. We need to put a line in our, our room. <laughs> yeah. So it's on the baseline. That's on the spot. <laughs> Boom, baseline. Oh, baseline. <laughs> You're really, going? you're really itching a lot today. Yeah. How, how are you feeling now? We're probably about, I don't know, 15 minutes in, maybe. I'm gonna hold this still. Let's make it like firmer for you. I got it. I got it. <laughs> um, actually, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. You kind of just accommodate. All right. And All right. Get used to it. So yeah, are you gonna be good for the rest of the week? Yep. <laughs> uh, this question is for you. Mm -hmm. Um, I forgot the question. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I got, I got an itch. Anyways. You're really. Getting that. I know. Get after it. Uh, so how do you think being disabled would ultimately affect your current life, the life that you live right now? Like what would you, mm. if you became disabled, what would you have to change in your life? Well, that's it. Oh, you haven't gotten that one before. Well, it's, you know, it's an inter interesting question because honestly, like nowadays, that is like one of my biggest fears. Mm. Why is that? Because I'm so afraid that like, if that were to happen, I don't know if Cole and I, how our relationship would yeah, be but, like yeah, if we could have a relationship deep. yeah it's it's actually a really tough topic yeah like i just can't imagine like you yeah. know if if i end up disabled like the help we would need both right. of us and then like how do you continue i mean that was possible but how do you continue to have that intimate life i mean i know it's it's really it's really it's a harsh reality yeah. is really what it is but mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> I, I don't I'm not familiar with too many relationships where both partners yeah. right. are this level of disabled yeah. I, I kind of have a feeling that there's only so much disability a relationship can have yeah. before it's just too much right and yeah. Um, I, yeah that's a tough one well and on top of that um like it if I were disabled now, my life and the way I function, my job, whatever, I don't, that doesn't bother me. Like, I know it'll be hard and it'll be difficult, but I know I can adjust and I could, 
make the changes that I need in order to live the best life I can. But my biggest worry is just the relationship with Cole. Like that's the yeah. only thing I am concerned about. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So well, so hopefully if she comes disabled, <laughs> she just has a pinky toe removed or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a horrible, horrible pinky toe accident. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pinky toes are, that's a big, big deal. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> They're going to be non-existent in a couple decades, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Evolution will phase them out. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That was a good question though. I, I, that was tough for it to answer. There, there to aren't many about. questions we haven't had before. Yeah. Yeah, I'm that's sure. one of them. Ooh, here comes the sneeze. Oh, Go away. Do you want me to do something? No. Yeah. Here's my hand. Pink elephants. It, Pink it, elephants. it went away. Okay. <laughs> and you look at the light. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So this next question is for both of you. Mm -hmm. um, so like just from our, our uh, obviously this is the first time we've actually met in person. Mm -hmm. We FaceTimed a handful of times mm -hmm. and you know, seeing all your YouTube videos, you guys mm -hmm. have a lot of content. So it's kind of, it's fairly easy um, to see how you guys interact mm -hmm. and how your relationship is. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's many different dynamics on the other side of the camera, you know, when yeah. you're not recording. But um, you guys make it seem like, you know, seemingly, seemingly uh, effortless in yeah. mm -hmm. um, like your connection. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is a good tip for uh, another couple, whether they're disabled or not, mm -hmm. um, to kind of have a, a, a great relationship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously with YouTube, we we are allowed to put on whatever we want, you know? Right. And so because our motto is stay positive, we try to keep the channel positive. So it doesn't mean that we don't have conflicts. It doesn't mean that we don't have arguments. We don't have disagreements. Right. But I also think that we've learned to stay open and communicate with each other. And then we know each other's like weaknesses. So sometimes when I'm frustrated in a situation, I just have to walk away for like, I just need 30 seconds, like literally 30 seconds to walk away and then recuperate. Regain. And then, right. Yeah, and then I just come back and we're fine and we talk, and then I'm calm and we can talk about it and then I'm like, you know what, you're right, I'm sorry, blah, blah. We do get over things really quick. Yeah, very, very quickly. Um, From my perspective, uh, and I don't know if this is self-hype self -hype or what, <laughs> but I think at least one of you have to be really patient. Oh, cool. <laughs> I feel like that's so hard for that. What? He always says that, like he jokes that he's more patient than me. But I, I'll be like, I have to. You have to be pretty patient to be in a relationship with someone with yeah. such, like a disability. Like Maybe. to be honest, like you have to be patient. Yeah. So I'm patient just <laughs> about certain things. Right. I think it's yeah. it's definitely uh, different dynamics of yeah. patience. Yes. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't even think about that, but that's that's yeah. that's a good point. Is I I bring the patience and. Some areas she brings patients in other areas. Mm -hmm. So I think someone, see, I didn't identify who it was gonna be, but I said someone in the relationship has to be patient all the time. Yeah. So we sometimes both, it's you, sometimes it's me, yeah. but someone's gotta be patient. Yeah. I lose my patience when I'm doing something physically that Cole can't help with. I lose a lot of patience then. Mm -hmm. So, like putting a shower chair together, like, I'm like, help me! Yeah. But <laughs> this what, morning. Is your, is your patience like, does your patience run? short with Cole himself or is it just like with the situation in general? It's the situation and I, I just want Cole, <laughs> I'm, I'm very big on independence mm -hmm. and I know Cole can yeah. do a lot. I know he can and so I push him to do a lot mm -hmm. and so when I'm sitting there trying to figure something out I'm like babe grab the book set up the pillow how you need it so you can see it and read it to me. Like you I'm can, like yeah, that. And you can she's it. talking about this morning when we were trying to put the yeah. portable shower chair together. Literally yeah. we're like bolt nuts and bolts screwing, yeah. screwing it together. And it comes with a manual and I'm laying down in bed and it's very hard for me to like move my arms around. I can't even like look, lift my head up to see what she's doing. She's right. Like, oh, where does this screw go? Like, where am I supposed to put it? And how am I supposed to do this? Yeah. I'm like, I can't, I can't read the manual. I can't get up. I can't do anything. Yeah. But we figured it out in the end. There yeah. was one called a Kelly mama, um, yeah. but she gave us the trick that we needed for yeah. this one part. Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to rest my arm. Go, hey, dude. <laughs> you can share the arm rest. Whatever you need, man. Yeah, but I think our biggest advice, patience, communication. Yeah, communication is something I've been working on. I'm not the best with communication. Yeah, but, so that's one thing. You have the patience, but maybe not the communication. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely uh, true. Yeah, and that makes me lose patience. <laughs> So I have to be patient with getting in trouble for my mistakes for communication. It works 
out in the end. We get just over work things. on all the Asians. Yeah, yeah. all the Asians. Yeah. It's just circle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right. Well, that was a pretty good answer. So I like those. Mm -hmm. Um. Next question would be. Sorry, my legs are hurting so bad right now. Really? Yes. Right. Oh, the straps. The straps. They're like just scratching. Do you need some, you need some relief? Ow. Oh, did that not help? It's just scratching. Just give it a good wiggle. Sometimes you just need a wiggle. Yeah, wiggle it. <laughs> do, the, do the quad wiggle. All the okay, quads that, don't really that's better. Back. I moved it. I needed a weight shift or like an uh, adjustment, yeah, you know? Yeah. Okay. okay. No, a weight shift adjustment. That makes sense. Yeah. I do weight shifts. Weight shifts is a good word. Words. Okay. <laughs> don't break the chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, I've found that uh, people in general, uh, especially people with disabilities, um, find it hard to kind of love themselves. So, you mm -hmm. know, we're always trying to reach other people's expectations and live up to this person's uh, vision or idea of who they think we are. Um, what do you think is good advice to give to somebody, whether they're disabled or not, to like just love oneself and just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. not, before you can even love somebody else, you know, you need to really be able to love yourself and know who you are and know your limits and know your, uh, mm -hmm. your, uh, your goals and what you're looking for. So what would you, what would you say to somebody who, is struggling to love their self, themselves. Yeah, I, I think it's twofold. One is you have to, you have to have something you're proud of. If you're, if you're, if you're out in the world affecting change, doing something positive, and it's yours and you own it, it's very easy to love yourself because you did that. You right. know, that's right. that's all you. Yeah. And so, I mean, yeah, just have something that you're proud of. And the other part is understand, well, like in my, in my example, I went for a long time thinking that I was unattractive. I was assuming that people right. thought I was unattractive because I was in a wheelchair. As soon as I dropped that assumption and put myself out there, I realized that people will love me. And if other people can love me, then I can love myself too. Right. So, if you have things that you're proud of and understand that other people are gonna love you and that means you're worth loving, and I'm sure everybody out there in the world already has people who love them, then you should you should love yourself. Mm -hmm. And then that neither of those things have to do with disability, really. Right. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. I, right when you started talking about um, a passion or something, you know, doing something good that you actually have done yourself, mm -hmm. that's I think that's 100% accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, yeah, what, what would you say, Kurzweil? I, I, I agree with that. I mean, I guess coming from the outsider without a disability. Um, I agree, and I think that's like something a lot of people struggle with. Like that's something I struggled with for years, like just self-love. Right. And a lot of times when people don't love themselves, it's because they're in a toxic situation, you know? Mm -hmm. And so whoever or whatever that situation is, is making them feel worthless. And um, I think a lot of times, you just have to remove yourself from that situation um, to realize that you are worth it and stuff. So mm -hmm. I think from that perspective, that's kind of like a lot of the reason why I didn't love myself is because I wasn't in a good position where someone wasn't loving me the way they should. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Like cut negative ties. Yes. Yeah. That old chestnut. Yeah. Surround yourself just... with positive people and loving people mm -hmm. and it makes you that person too. And eventually, and you'll see that you're worth it and they love mm -hmm. you and then it gives you're like, wait, you know, I'm, I'm a great person. Like, why don't I love myself? And you mm -hmm. know, you just take a look in the mirror. Genius, you are a disabled genius. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you mentioned about, um, you know, when you were in, when you, in the beginning of becoming quadriplegic, being in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. you, you saw yourself as unattractive or you thought that other people would think you were unattractive. Mm -hmm. So charisma, mm -hmm. what made it so easy to kind of look past his disability and his wheelchair and know him and start to love him for who he actually was besides <laughs> the obvious big old beautiful blue eyes <laughs> yeah. um his personality yeah cole has like such a great personality that really 
I don't want to say makes up for his disability. Like, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Like as I'm saying, like I don't want to use that it's word. Tolerable. That sounds. That sounds I mean, awful. Okay. No, but I'm like kidding, I kidding. literally never saw his wheelchair. It never crossed my mind. Like yeah, he says. I'm like yeah, he sits in a wheelchair. Like who cares? Like it. Ne and I don't know if it's because where I worked, so I, I saw. I worked with a lot of people with disabilities right. and wh whatever. Um, I don't know if it's because of that or just because of. That's how you should be as a human being. You should you shouldn't look at someone and be like, hey, they have a disability. I'm not gonna talk to them. Right, you know what I mean? Right. Um, that's how we all should okay. be. But um, his great personality just really my made therapist it easy. helped too. Your therapist? I think my therapist helped because where you worked, yeah, I would go to work out. Mm -hmm. She was in the outpatient, so like she wouldn't work with inpatient. me or inpatient. Mm -hmm. So she wouldn't work with me. But my therapist would have lunch with her every day. Yeah. And apparently there was some. Uh, so chit some chat. Yeah, a little yeah. chit chatting going on. Yeah. <laughs> I just kept saying he's cute. And then apparently he kept saying it about me too, and I didn't know. And then my therapist would say, Hey, uh, do you think she's cute? Yeah. <laughs> I said, You know what? Yeah, she is really cute. Yeah. And then the rest is history. Yeah. Uh, so. And you guys have been dating for how long now? Almost a year and a half. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, we, it's not we're not breaking down by months anymore. Just yeah. a year and a half, Rounded two years. After, years. after a year. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm really itchy. Holy crap. Yeah, it's it's half <laughs> on. <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing? I think mean, it's my hair. hair. Get the hair out of there. <laughs> do you need my help? Okay. What can you do? Can you help? It's just gonna, I'm just gonna have to deal with this it. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the do. world. You gotta deal with it. I can show you the world. <laughs> what would be your advice to anybody? Once again, disabled or not disabled, mm -hmm. he's going through life struggles, going through relationship issues. Um, to take, what would your advice be to take their negative mentality to a positive one? Well, I was gonna say, oftentimes, like people in a negative situation have a negative mindset because they're surrounded by negative people. So, like going back to that, surround just, yourself with yeah. positive people. Like, right. get out of that situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Like. I was with someone for years, 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 and it was hard to walk away. But then once you do, you're like, oh my God, wait, why didn't I do this freaking years ago? Right. Like, so much better off. Yeah, I would've been happy. Yeah. But a lot of times people, you're so, a lot of people are so afraid of starting over and letting go of the past. Right. So afraid yeah. of that. And cause they don't know what the future is gonna hold. They don't know like, you know, how can I live without this person? Or mm -hmm. how can I live without this job or something, you know? Change and adversity is scary. Yeah, it's very scary mm -hmm. for people. So you just gotta trust the process. Like just let go trust the process. and it, it's, everything's gonna work out. Everything's gonna work out. The worst yeah. thing that can happen in life is that, I don't know, you fail, but you're gonna learn from that failure. Right. You're gonna pick yourself back up and keep going. Yeah. It's just okay to fail. Failure doesn't mean yeah. it's a, a the end of the world. Uh, a right. true failure. Yeah. You'll pick yourself back up and keep going. Yeah. Right. I was going to say kind of the same thing, but in a different way. There's, <laughs> if there's something that quadriplegia and its permanency has taught me, yeah. is that other problems are not. Right. right. So I know that I'm going to be like this until there's some sort of medical breakthrough. If that never happens, I'm going to be like this forever. Mm -hmm. right. But when I'm sitting there like in the final, and it's, when I'm sitting there in finals in college and I know I have four tests this week and I'm super nervous, I know next week I'm gonna be done. You're gonna be fine. Yeah. So in that way, it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna be in a chair forever. <laughs> yeah. So it might suck right now, but next week's gonna be fine. Right. If it's not next week, next month's gonna be fine. That's what I try to instill in most of my friends and. Uh, people through you know doing like the impulse motivation videos mm -hmm. through Instagram and whatnot is just like What you think is a problem and an issue and like the end of your life and it's just so terrible mm -hmm. It's it's gonna be gone. It's gonna pass this yep. too shall pass mm -hmm. And you're gonna be completely fine. and You're gonna start over and then you're gonna have another problem mm -hmm. You're gonna have to get past that one. Yeah, and then you're gonna be fine And it's you know, obviously it sucks, but that's just what life is like mm -hmm. some people think that or we've kind of been raised to think that life is supposed to be this smooth sailing you know, ship. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. Life is ups and downs, it's mm -hmm. trials and tribulations, yeah. it's loss, it's gain, it's yeah. all of these things yeah. that create, that's what life is, that's yeah. what makes up life. And if you yeah, accept right. that and embrace it, it makes you a stronger person and it makes you 
And it's what um, gives life meaning. If you just yeah. had nothing happen in your life for 20 years, yeah. it's like... Yeah, 20, 80, yeah. 100 years. Yeah. Some yeah. people don't, don't experience a whole lot. But. Yeah. Right. Or if you have everything you ever wanted in life, you're not going to appreciate anything. Right. You're not going to appreciate what it's like to not have something because yeah. you get everything you want. Mm -hmm. So it helps Spoiled. you. Spoiled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it helps with that aspect too. Mm -hmm. well, good answers. I just want to say I find it very interesting how sitting with you two, like, obviously you guys have disabilities, so, you know. Wait, what? What? Are you serious? <laughs> what? Anyway, you guys make accommodations to like, so like when you're itchy, you just take the straw and you scratch. And so like I've been doing that like here and there while we're having a serious conversation. You guys like, it's just normal. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like- You don't even realize you're doing it. Well, you guys don't realize I'm doing it. You know, like you're just like, oh, she's just scratching her face. But like, I feel like if someone without a disability, they're sitting in your position and I'm like over here scratching, they'd be like laughing and like, oh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. But like, you guys are just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what, what you gotta do. Yeah. I'm hoping that you know, these viewers out there when they see this yeah. and you know, we're talking, Cole and I are talking, they'll see you and scratch you and be like, oh, Charisma's freaking out right now. Yeah. Or something, you know, they'll just notice it, hopefully. Yeah. That's the goal. That's yeah. Some Something that was cool, what uh, a comment on our channel was, someone said that they've been a long time viewer mm -hmm. or a long time subscriber and they don't even see the chair anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. really cool. That's kind of like the whole point. Right? Yeah. yeah. Fade, fade out the disability. Yeah, that's just the first dude, man. Yeah. Our mission with this Paralyze This uh, show is to... <laughs> 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 Hello! Yeah. That was so yeah. loud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, our, our mission with this Paralyze This show is to uh, show the perspective of people who live life differently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to just try to instill that into like what we just talked about people who are struggling with whatever the issue may be mm -hmm. you know if they can see Cole out here in a wheelchair overcoming something even harder than they are make them think twice about you know their problems yeah. mm -hmm. and um, hopefully we're able to do that I know you guys are doing that with your channel so yeah. thanks yeah it's amazing to have you guys on here mm -hmm. I really appreciate it thanks for having us yeah of course. we Glad love we love this idea and what you're doing I Absolutely. think it like I mean it helped my change my perspective too even though I date Cole I, I mean yeah, you actually being that. in the chair and just like it makes me more patient like whenever Cole's like can you scratch this I'm like help yeah baby I got it for you like I'll scratch it like <laughs> here you go <laughs> like you know like I won't be like oh, oh my god mm -hmm. I'm never like that but you know it just makes you really think about it more so. Awesome. Well, you guys want to finish it with the uh, infamous? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Sign out. Yeah. So, charisma. <laughs> oh god. Oh, phone call. Hold on. Good. Okay, ready. So, charisma. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay positive. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys. Catch you on the next episode. Yay. All right. <laughs>